Okay, welcome to Lang's Bolarama and the Lang's Invitational pregame show, sponsored by Bolify. Okay, for our first show, we're going to go over a few of the lineups. We're going to recap week one, who started out 4-0, who started out 0-4, uh, who bowled well, who didn't, and uh, just give you an idea of uh, what we think might happen here in the first half. Stick around. Okay, so starting off on the top, uh, the PB and J's, uh, the Bacon's team, uh, sponsored by PB and J's restaurant, I believe it's called. Uh, they had a big week. They started out 4-0, uh, led mostly by Mike DeRosa, who shot 766. Uh, pretty big week for him, uh, and they led the league with 3286 in pinfall, and they are currently your leaders in first place. And obviously, Mike DeRosa, a pretty big week for him. Okay, another guy who started off pretty big, uh, Quidaris Rembert, uh, started off with 766 as well. Uh, his team, We Them Boys, uh, with Jacob Williams, Ryan McLaughlin, uh, Steve Chardier, and Jared Nimblett. They started out 4 0 as well. Big week for Quidaris as well. Uh, he started off with a 298 game and a 766, so a good bowling set for him and a pretty good start for his team. Uh, now we get into a few teams with some interesting team names. Uh, the Cheek Clappers, uh, Jerry Bianchi's team. Uh, he's bowling with Ryan Nelson, Steve Gardner, uh, Joey Lovett, and Eric Malarkey. They start out 4-0. Um, big series by Steve Gardner, 718. Had a very good season last year and the season before. 718 is probably just about average for him. So uh, could start for them at 4-0, but uh, we'll see if they can continue their momentum. Uh, also started off 4-0. Pretty good team last year, the Pocket Pounders. Uh, Mark Gonzalez, Steve Manchester, Sr. and Jr. Uh, Dan Chase and Steve Strohman, uh, pretty solid team. Uh, had a very good year last year, uh, winning a half, I believe, and uh, they started off 4-0 as well. Rounding out the bottom seven teams of the 4-0 club, uh, you had teams such as Hanging Corners, I believe that's Dave Paquin's team, uh, been around a while. His team started out 4-0. The Misfits and the Scorpion Bowlers will round out the seven teams that started off the league with a 4-0 record. Uh, and the bottom team started out 4-0, 2937 for total pins uh, with handicap is a fairly low number. So kind of interesting. We'll see how that uh, is going forward. But those are your seven teams that started off undefeated. Rounding out the bottom seven teams of the 4-0 club, uh, you had teams such as Hanging Corners. I believe that's Dave Paquin's team. Uh, been around a while. His team started out 4-0. The Misfits and the Scorpion Bowlers will round out the seven teams that started off the league with a 4-0 record. Uh, and the bottom team started off 4-0, 29-37 for total pins uh, with handicap is a fairly low number. So kind of interesting. We'll see how that uh, is going forward. But those are your seven teams that started off undefeated. Okay, now for your honor scores and for your high scores of the week. Uh, Mike DeRosa, Mike Carter, and Tim Healy were your three bowls who shot 300 in week one. Mike Carter also started off with 801, so he led the league uh, in terms of uh, average and the high score for the week. Good for him. Uh, Quinaris Rembrandt, uh, 298. Grant Henderson, 290, 290 even. Jimmy Zavastin, 279. Lance Outland, 279. Bill LaPointe, 279. Jeff Wilson Jr. and Ken Couture, all 279. In week one, uh, let's see: Jimmy Sebastian 783, Lance Outland 768, Quidara 766, Mike DeRosa 766, and Kent Couture 758. Those are your leading scorers uh, in week one. Congratulations to those. Okay, for our matchup of the week, I would say without question it has to be nine and ten, uh, the Cheek Clappers and the Pocket Pounders, probably two of the better names in the league. Uh, as well as uh, two of the teams that have started 4-0. Uh, that's Jerry Bianchi's team with uh, Steve Gardner and company, uh, and uh, the team from here at Lang's, uh, Steve Chartier, uh, Ryan McLaughlin and company as well. So that matchup takes uh, place in 9 and 10, and hopefully we'll get some footage from that matchup, uh, and hopefully we'll be able to bring you some more action next week. Uh, please check out the RTR Bowling uh, channel on YouTube and we will get all the weekly action including the pregame show here um, Every week and hopefully I will have some guests and maybe bring some special features from here live at the Nelson. Thank you
Jerry getting his ass busted. 